Hey guys, it's David DeFranco from GearPop.com, and this is my review of the Moho Leaf Ultimate Indoor HDTV Antenna. Let's jump right into it. Alright, so let's start out with what's in the box. You obviously do get the antenna itself, paper thin design, which was my favorite feature of this. Well, besides the content, of course, but I'll get more on that in a bit. Okay, so you do get an amplifier included with the antenna. Unfortunately, I can't get it out of my TV. That thing is wedged in there like a mother. I suppose that's a good thing. But I do want to say that is not just the power adapter. Like I said in my unboxing, I was wrong. That is actually the amplifier. That's how the antenna is so thin. It gets the amplified power from that little box itself. And then the uh, power goes from there via the three foot USB cable to your standard AC plug. I think that's the best way of explaining. I'm not that knowledgeable when it comes to that side of electronics, but you guys get what I'm saying. And speaking of which, this is the three foot USB cable that's included. It is mini USB on one side and then regular USB on the other, which then plugs into this a standard power adapter. Yeah, very cool. You do get these little push pins as well as Velcro tabs. So if you do want to mount uh, the antenna itself on the wall, then you can. And finally included, and this is definitely required, a 16 foot coaxial cable. Yeah, that's plenty of cable. All right, so getting into the actual review, my longtime viewers probably know by now that I like to break my videos down into pros and cons. That just makes things more enjoyable and organized, in my opinion. So let's just get right into it. So pro number one is the paper thin design. This blew my mind. Now, I should say I'm a very high tech person when it comes to getting my entertainment. I prefer to watch The Office every week via iTunes on my Apple TV or I stream content on a daily basis on Netflix. I just finished watching um, American Horror Story season one. Great show. I really can't wait to see what season two is about. I hear it's in an asylum, which is pretty cool. Basically, what I'm getting at here is when I think of antennas, I think of old technology, like non-Apple TV, non-internet kind of stuff. Do you see what I'm saying here? I do not think of this. This blew my mind. Paper thin design. I now have a completely different outlook on antenna technology. Maybe this is unique, maybe Mohu has some kind of breakthrough technology, or maybe this is the norm. Either way, I really appreciated the paper thin design. I mean, guys, look at this. It's literally paper thin. Am I the only one like blown away by that? And of course, as you probably noticed by now, you do get the choice of black and white. So if you have white walls and you want to mount this thing using the push pins of the Velcro pads, you can, and it'll blend in very nicely. And if you have black walls, if you're into that kind of evil look, not that you're evil if you like black, I'm just saying you don't really see black rooms that often, then you can mount this thing just fine. All right, so moving on with the pros, that was technically pro number two. This is pro number three, and that is the easy to set up process. Guys, it was incredibly simple. I plugged a coaxial cable into my TV. I plugged the other end into the antenna itself. Then the amplifier, power source, bam, put this thing in my windowsill. I did the search for channels feature using my Samsung TV uh, built-in software, and it works great. It could not have been easier. All right, so pro number four, this is definitely relative depending upon your location. I had amazing broadcast quality. I cannot believe how excellent some of the channels look. Now, for those not aware, you can get free over-the-air 1080p HD content. That in itself is amazing. Okay. Look at the big picture here, guys. Pun intended. Sure, why not? How much do you pay for your TV service? Some people probably pay like $1,000. That is outrageous. Now, ask yourself this. How many channels of your guide or whatever you want to call it do you actually watch? Now, you'll probably tell yourself you only really watch the primary networks such as ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC because that's what primetime TV is on. Now, yes, there are channels over the air that you cannot get such as AMC. AMC is an awesome network. That's the network that broadcasts The Walking Dead, Mad Men, Breaking Bad, oh, Breaking Bad, and The Walking Dead. Such freaking good shows. Anyway, I just really love those shows. Mad Men, I never really got into, but Breaking Bad and The Walking Dead, ooh, I, it's, it's really hard to find shows better than that. Anyway, guys, getting back on topic, what I'm saying here is you can save a lot of money. This thing retails for just $89 at the Mohu store. $89 and some people pay a hundred dollars per month for their TV service. I could never do that The only fee I pay per month in terms of entertainment is eight dollars for Netflix Eight dollars a month for Netflix is more than worth it. I get some of the TV shows. I get the office which 
in itself is worth eight dollars. You get brand new movies over time, and overall, I love Netflix. I watch it every single night. But the fact that I now have this antenna and I get my local channels, in my opinion, that's best of both worlds. But yes, of course, channel listings and quality and all that stuff, it does come down to your location. Now, for those unaware, I am literally right across the river from Philadelphia. So I really look down in terms of antenna quality and location. I don't know where exactly the antennas are, but it's Philly. It's a major, major city. Uh, yeah, it's a major city. It's a major city, so you can bet your butt I do get excellent quality. Now, I should say, unfortunately, the only major local network I don't get, and for whatever reason, I'm not really sure why, maybe I have to look into this, is ABC, which is a bummer, but it's really not a huge deal. I do get CBS. That's where the Super Bowl is on tonight. I'm recording this on Sunday. You'll see it on Monday. I do get NBC. I love NBC. Um, I believe they have the best news program out there. I do get Fox, which is awesome, and I do get 57. I always forget what Network 57 is. Why do I always forget that? But the point is, I do get enough to make me happy. The fact that I get CBS and NBC and Fox, those are the three major networks in my eyes. ABC is great for the days of Lost, but let's face it, Lost has been done for years now. Amazing show, but I don't really need ABC for anything. Uh, the Office is on NBC. Fox has The Simpsons. I don't really watch The Simpsons that much. Family Guy, all that good stuff. And finally, CBS has things like the Super Bowl and major shows that go on throughout the year. So again, I do encourage you to use the link below to see how many channels you get. This is a completely relative experience. Overall, guys, I gotta say I'm very happy. While I don't get ABC, like I said, I do get enough channels to, well, fulfill my entertainment needs. And finally, last but not least on my list of pros is that, well, it just works. Guys, it just works. Can I not stress enough how much I enjoy a product that just works. I am the consumer. I don't need to be messing with a bunch of stuff, cables, and software problems. I plugged it in, searched for channels using the built-in Samsung software on my 46-inch TV, and again, it just worked. I loved it. Alright guys, so let's talk cons. As you know, I like concentrating on pros, but nothing out there is perfect. Nothing. And I'm always purely honest with my reviews, so I do have to, well, honestly say that, this antenna only had one con, and that is, unfortunately, well, first of all, I should say the, the design is amazing, like I said, but that kind of has a trade-off, and that's, well, it's hard to mount or stand up anywhere. Now, yes, Mohu is nice enough to give you the Velcro pads and the uh, black and white push pins, which is great, but again, I do have orange walls, so this thing's not going to blend in anywhere. However, I am fortunate enough to have a windowsill right behind my TV where the blinds come down. So my setup is I literally just plug it in, put it behind my TV and behind my um, blinds, stand it up like this, and it kind of falls down. And that's that. It kind of just sits there. Now, that's not really a bad thing, but I am big on aesthetics. I really would have liked if they include some kind of stand, like some kind of flat little triangular stand or even just some, some, some kind of cheap little rectangle thing where I could just do this and stand it up. But of course this does entirely depend on your setup so this isn't a con for everyone but again I do have to stress this it would have been nice if I had some kind of little um, stand that I could just sit this on. Alright so is the Mohu Leaf Ultimate Indoor HD TV antenna worth it? Definitely guys. I have no doubt in my mind that you will love this product. This was amazing. I love it. The fact that I can get free over the air content from some of my favorite networks it, it's just you have no idea how happy that makes me because, again, I don't pay for TV service, but the fact that I can get the local channels now, that's just huge in my eyes. All right, so let's do a quick recap of content I have. I have Netflix for $8 a month, iTunes, that's a la carte, depending upon which episodes you get. The Office is $2 per episode for SD. I don't do the HD version. I don't need it in HD. However, The Walking Dead, I do buy in HD because I, I think that deserves to be in HD. Anyway, um, so I have Netflix iTunes, which isn't a monthly service, but it depends upon what you purchase. And finally, this antenna. Over the air, free. Now, of course, by free, I mean once you buy this for $90 via the link below over at Mohu's official online store. After that, you don't pay a monthly fee. It's free from that point forward. And please, take this into consideration. Think about how much content you're watching. Think about how much money you're wasting. I mean, if you were looking to cut back on bills or whatever, this thing is exactly what you were looking for. Trust me. Pick it up, you will love it.
if you can't tell, I really loved it. Such an amazing antenna. Again, huge thanks to the guys over at GoMoohoo.com. And if you are interested in purchasing this antenna for self, for, yeah, for self, well, that makes sense, I guess. But for yourself, that link is right below. All right, guys, I am done. The review stops here. I'm going to go get ready and watch the Super Bowl later tonight. I'm really excited. Well, I'm excited for the commercials. I don't really care about the 49ers or the Ravens. However, if you want my opinion, I'm rooting for the 49ers because one day I would love to move to San Francisco. I've That's always been a life dream of mine is to move to California, whether it's San Francisco, San Diego, wherever. Just not L.A. because I hear that there's a lot of crime there. But you guys get what I'm saying. So if you want my opinion, I think the 49ers are going to win. But then again, that really doesn't mean much because I'm not a huge football person. However, I am really into the Phillies and baseball season's coming up. So go Phillies. And now we must part ways, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for some pretty exciting unboxing i have some big plans in terms of this camcorder and microphones and all that stuff i'm looking to beef up my recording setup a bit details on that in a bit uh did i just say a bit twice damn it i hate when i do that you guys get what i'm saying thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you soon